Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got an email here from Steve. He's writing in uh, to ask about whether he should get a lens, a new lens, to step up his photography or a new camera body. He says, good evening. I've watched your video on the 2018 relevance of the D7200 as it's the camera of my choice, being that the D7500 lacks a second SD slot and the 7100 lacks internal Wi-Fi. I've been shooting for several decades, and I'm growing weary of my D90, and I have a decent stable of lenses. He's got brackets, Tokina 11 to 16, 2.8, Sigma 17 to 50, 2.8, Nikon 18 to 135, 3.5 to 5.6, and a Nikon 35 to F1.8. I think you mean Nikon 1, uh, 18 to 140, if I'm not mistaken. I shoot our ice skating and roller skating events, uh, chillentertainment.com, all my picks, and I'm wanting to pursue more professional shooting. I'm tossing between jumping big glass with a 70 to 200 to 8, or upgrading my D90 as my current budget only allows for one uh, even with used equipment. The lens will come either way, but I likely would keep both bodies and use the super sharp 18 to 135 on the 7200 and a fast lens on the slower 90 until which time I can acquire the bigger glass. I consider myself a street photographer, but an entering uh, professional real estate and portrait, wide range I know, uh, photography. I need to get my gear before moving back to Canada as the prices are considerably higher north of the border. Again, apologies for emailing you. I seem to be unable to leave a comment on your video. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what was going on with that. Uh, thanks in advance, Steve. Thank you for your uh, your email, Steve. Um, lots to think about here. Uh, I had some notes actually on your email because I was thinking about this, um, and I just wanted to say that um, maybe for the ice skating and roller skating events, you might need that seventy to two hundred. But for your real estate and portrait and street photography, the 7200 is probably not something you need. Um, I'm torn here because I often tell people to upgrade glass first. But the D90, as much as I liked that camera, and I did own one or I think I might have even owned a pair back in the day, um, it's getting pretty old to be shooting with, especially if you're going to be looking at shooting professionally. It's quite an upgrade to go to a D7200, twice the resolution. You're looking at a 24 megapixel camera, much bigger LCD, better autofocus system. It's just a huge jump in camera all around. So in your situation, I think I would recommend getting the 7200 before I got the 70 to 200 to 8. Uh, it's just going to be such an improvement in gear and your camera. I think you're going to be blown away with it. And then, you know, it, especially too, like maybe you can get a refurbed, uh, 7200 or a used one and what about an older even 80 to 200 to 8 uh, even one of the old push pulls uh, from Nikon are really good lenses or a Sigma um, and you can maybe get both and then best of both worlds because I really am hesitant to say to go to that longer lens until you get that body upgraded um, is, is a big thing for me I think you're really going to see an improvement in the 7200 over the, D, the D90 uh, the D90 was a great camera in its day, but it's getting pretty old. So um, that's, I think, what I would recommend is to look at the 7200 first. And maybe you can do both. Uh, if you look at, as I said, the 80 to 200 series, the older lenses, the F28s, they're not image stabilized, but there's some great glass, still very sharp, very capable glass, shot by a lot of pros in the day, got some great images from them. Um, and, and then you could lose very little money selling it later when you can upgrade to a 70 to 200 um, with a VR. So that's what I would do. I'll throw it back to our viewers. What do you guys think? Would you think it's more important to go to the 7200 or more important to go to the 70 to 200 2.8 lens? D7200 upgrade in the body or the longer lens, the 70 to 200 f2.8? What would you do? Do you like my suggestion of going with a used 7200 and getting an older 80 to 200 f2.8 uh, or a Sigma? Uh, or do you think it's more important to get one of these new Let's hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. Always great to get your feedback. Uh, helps our viewers when they write in. How it helps them make a decision because uh, they get more uh, input, more feedback, and sometimes you guys bring up something I hadn't thought of. So always great. Thanks for your question, Steve. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.